Hello everyone, Dan here. Today I'm going to show you one of my personal favorite routines called On the Offbeat. I hope you enjoy it. So to begin this little routine, I'll actually do a little cut and we're going to place a random card right there. We'll get to back to that shortly. In addition, I'm going to have a spectator. I'm going to go across the cards. The spectator tells me when to stop whenever they like. So they say stop, let's say right here. They memorize the card. Hopefully you can see it as well. And we lose inside the pack. And actually we won't even, we don't even need this pack, so we'll just actually set it aside very fairly. Now if this was your card, that'd be a pretty dang good trick. <laughs> if it was. Or even matching. So check this out. Think of your card that you had peeked and saw. Check this out. I give it a wave and a flick. And now it's your card, believe it or not. I give it another wave and a flick, and it changes from your card to the Ace of Clubs. A little demonstration of real magic. Thank you. <laughs> and the audience is going wild with this routine. <laughs> and for those out there saying, but that's not my card, I can boldly say I never said it was. <laughs> but let's say in the case that I was ever actually serious, what I do is I get the Ace of Clubs, I can give it a wave, and you could actually see a change from the Ace of Clubs to the Ace of Diamonds. Wow, that was actually quite similar. Lovely. <laughs> let's, uh, let's have some more fun. Let's shuffle up the cards and keep going from there. We're also going to need another spectator. A lovely miss on my right. I go, miss! Tell me when to stop. Hmm. Tell me when to stop whenever you like as I go across, okay? And I will look away. I really do not want to see the card. So they do so. And they have this card. And I'm not going to look, but you guys, the audience, can peek it. Hopefully you see it. Yeah. Okay. And then um, I'll take it back in this case. So they look at the card. I'm looking away. Just make sure it's not gimmicked on the front because that would be bad. You know, trick cards are terrible. Nor gimmicked on the back. That would be just as bad as well. <laughs> okay, that was that was really bad. Let's, let's be a little bit better. I'm going to be a little more fair. And I'll be so fair about this. And I'll, I'll tell you how. I'm going to riffle through the cards. And I'm not going to use any breaks. Nothing for the magicians. As I go across, the specter can tell me when to stop whenever they like. They say stop right there. Do you want to change your mind? Or do you like the mind you have? I ask them. And they say they'll, they like the mind they have. So it sounds good <laughs> to me. So they peek the card. And they learn it and they love it. And it's this one. Different card, yes. They respond, no. It's the same one. Oh. Yeah, that tends to happen sometimes. You know what? You know what? Let's, let's just toss it back in. And really, really just forget about the whole card altogether. And I'll really, honestly, give it a real shuffle to mix it on up inside the pack. Seriously, I want to actually do give you a fair choice. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. They can take any one they like out. They go in for it, and they take this one out amongst all the other uh, display of cards in the pack. And I ask, finally, different card. Yes. Oh uh, no. Let's just go through with the trick anyway. <laughs> We'll get this card, we'll, we'll lose it up inside the pack, and we'll give it a fair shuffle, like so. We wouldn't want it to appear on bottom, because that would be much too easy in the case it did happen. We are also going to shuffle to the cards up, and I don't want it to be on top either. Queen Diamonds wasn't your card, right? No. That was, yeah, it was original Dick one. Uh, yeah, we're, we want to be as fair as we possibly can, because if it is does happen to be your card that wouldn't be that great of a trick this early on, you know? So we're going to lose uh, the card inside here and give it one more fair shuffle. So. so it's not on top, nor on bottom. Good so far. But I'll actually show you one of my favorite ways to change a card. Hopefully it looks good. You can actually get the King of Spades just like before. We give it a wave and now we can change it to your card. Hopefully we get this seven of... Oh. I mean, your selection was the Seven of Spades, and I was hoping for it, actually, this time. Did I get the Nine Clubs? 
It's just like when you think you finally get it, you're, you're just a long ways off, which kind of stinks for the whole thing. It's just funny, you know. Some days you get it, some days you don't. What can you do? Uh, let's let's just let's just go forward with it. Uh, I'm kind of feeling depressed now. I I felt like I had it. I was so I felt like I was so close with this whole thing. I wonder. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's let's make up. Uh, let, let's try one more effect, and I'll use a different audience member, uh, third audience member, in, or it could be the first person. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go across the cards again, like so, or. Yeah, and it'll just be a basic card trick, just a basic one, because I need to restore my confidence in, in card magic. So they say stop, let's say here. Different than the first two cards, uh, or at least different than the seven of spades, they will agree. We're going to toss it back, just like a basic card trick, and we'll lose it up inside the pack. And it's funny, considering all the different choices that can go on inside the pack, you have your selection. And I want to make it a little bit different than than everything else that, that's been here so far. So actually, I'm going to try, and I'm actually going to go to my back pocket for this. I actually had a couple of cards in my back pocket that I actually wanted to use. I had to cut three cards, and they're like predictions of of what was to happen in this case, and they might seem familiar to you. Like, um, and I'm looking at all of them. The first one was a prediction of the Ace of Diamonds, the Ace of Diamonds selection at the very beginning of the trick. And then there was, well, this card was always hard to find, the Seven of Spades. A little callback to that card that was so troublesome. And then the final one, well, I don't know what this one is. Maybe it's pure selection, I'm not sure. Can you name it out loud? They do, and it is. The lovely two of hearts. My name is Dan, and I hope you have a wonderful one. Thank you.